So let's quickly look at the differences between coenzyme and cofactor. All right. So coenzyme and cofactor is basically things that they eat. They actually aid the enzyme to work better. Do you understand? But there's a reason why they name them differently. That's to say that they are different. Okay. So we are going to look at the differences between coenzyme and cofactor under various headings, under definition, under nature, under binding role, and all of that. Okay. So overview: we say that enzyme often require what non-protein molecules to assist in their catalytic activity. Okay. So these molecules can be broadly classified into what coenzymes and cofactor. So for definition, we said that coenzyme is what organic. All right, only organic. Why cofactor can be organic or inorganic? As for me, this is the the best difference between them that I've grabbed. Okay, coenzyme is organic. It's a non-protein molecule that binds to the enzyme active site. It's often derived from what vitamins and are essential for enzyme activity. Cofactor can be in organic or inorganic. Okay, and they are not necessarily what derived from vitamins. I get the difference now. Moving to nature. Coenzymes are typically organic. Cofactors are what inorganic, as simple as that. Inorganic, it could be metals like magnesium and zinc. Cofactors can be inorganic and can be organic. I don't know if you understand. All right. Moving to the binding rules. Coenzymes are loosely bound to the enzymes, can easily be separated. Why for cofactors? Cofactors are tightly bound to the enzyme. Okay, they could be tightly or loosely bound to the enzymes. You get it. Tightly or loosely bound to the enzyme. So coenzymes, they act as what carriers of chemical groups and electrons during reactions. While inorganic, these ones, they actually stabilize the enzyme structure. They enter into the active site and stabilize how the active site is looking like. You get it. Examples, you have the examples here. It could be NAD, fat, coenzyme A. That's a coenzyme. Therefore, cofactors could be what? Metallic ions like magnesium, zinc. All right. Organic cofactors include what? Hem, which is found in what? Hemoglobin, which transport oxygen in the body. Okay. Reusability. Coenzyme often function temporarily. Okay. As temporary carriers. Okay. And they can be reused multiple times. Why for cofactors? They often remain bound to the enzymes throughout its catalytic cycle. Okay? So, okay, that's the inorganic. Inorganic cofactors cannot be reused. Why organic ones can be reused though? All right? So on that basis, that's the differences between coenzyme and cofactor of an enzyme.